For this challenge, you will be cooking and plating four of Canoe's signature dishes for Michael's most valued customers. During the service, we'll get their feedback, but in the end, Michael, Alvin, and I will decide the winning team. At the end of this challenge, the weakest team will face the dreaded pressure test. This challenge isn't just about saving your team from the pressure test. It's about honoring this restaurant and my reputation. Chef Michael has trusted us with his kitchen and his clients today. There's no room for error. Okay, go get changed into your chef's whites and meet me in the kitchen. Yes, chef. After changing, the home cooks join Michael in the canoe kitchen. People train for years to cook in a kitchen of this caliber. This feels completely surreal. I'm going to show you the preparation and presentation for each appetizer and entree that you're going to be responsible for. First up is Canoe's signature crab and tuna salad with taro chips, black radish, and pickled strawberries. I've got Dungeness crab, beautiful diced fresh tuna. See how that's nicely cubed? Everyone equal. Watching Chef Michael make his dishes is just like watching magic happening. Everything just falls perfectly on the plates. These are gorgeous Ontario preserved strawberries. It's like Chef Michael is making a piece of art in front of our eyes. I wouldn't even have to eat it and I'd be satisfied paying for it. I want everyone looking like that when it comes out. You got it? Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. The second appetizer is a twist on a traditional French onion soup. Here I've got this beautiful rich game stock and these gorgeous onions from the Holland Marsh all stewed up nicely cooked down. This is thunder oak cheese. Bone marrow, absolutely beautiful. And there we are, piping hot onion soup. Next up are the two main dishes, PEI potato beef with duck comfy potatoes and collard greens, and seared ivory salmon with squash and beluga lentils. And I want the salmon to be cooked nice and pink on the inside. I'm watching Chef Michael like a hawk. These are extremely complicated dishes. PEI potato beef. This one is medium. It's all about the cooking of the beef. Feel how firm that is? The softer it is to the touch indicates that it's medium rare. See the wonderful glaze, the thickness, the richness of that? Each one of these plates has somewhere between six and nine components. I'm freaking out, man. I hope you all paid close attention to Michael's instructions because in one hour, 60 of Michael's most valued customers will be seated in Canoe's dining room, expecting the exquisite food that this restaurant is known for. During service, I'll be right here expediting. If I don't think a dish is absolutely perfect, I'll be asking you to do it over. Yes, chef! You have 30 minutes to prep and give Michael's customers your very best. Your time starts now! Before service starts, the teams must sear their beef, extract bone marrow for the soup, and skin and portion their salmon. These bone marrow are really bloody, is that okay? You soak them in water to help that blood sort of wash got out, it, okay? Got it, got it. Steaks look great there. Salt and pepper on everything, evenly spread, looking good. Looking okay. very good. Almost done on the marrow. As captain, I want to run a very tight ship. Chef Michael's reputation's on the line. I'm gonna make sure that I do not let him down. Give me the onions first. Onions first. Always onions first. I think Lynn's style of leadership will be authoritarian. How's that salmon coming, Cody? Salmon's coming along well, brother. But my style is to assess everyone's strengths, trust my people in the kitchen, and be able to adapt if anything goes left of center. It's a tough challenge. It's a kitchen environment that they're not used to. Steaks are done. What am I doing with the pans? Right there. They're coming into a world-class restaurant. They're probably terrified. This, this is all coming apart. This one's coming apart, too. Be careful. This is not OK. So we got about 10 minutes before our guests arrive, OK? 10 minutes. As night falls on Toronto's financial district, the 60 VIP guests are seated and ready to order. The chills are going up my spine. There's no turning back. Let's do it. High five it. For the appetizer course, the guests will choose between a crab and tuna salad and Holland Marsh onion soup. Here we go. We got service coming up right away here, boys. This is a very intimidating kitchen, and Cody's young. I hope he doesn't lose his nerve. First tickets are in. Fantastic, thank you. Okay, guys, first order in for the blue team. You got two soup, two crab, okay? Two yes, soup, chef. two crab. Yes, yes chef. chef. Okay, red team, two soup, two crab for you. Yes, yes chef. chef. Dave, Want two it. soup, please. Yeah. Cody's plating. Christopher's plating, anything that's hot, I'm taking care of on the stoves. 
Oh, soup is beautiful, dude. Those are seasoned to perfection. Hey, thank you. I think very important, especially when you have a cold appetizer and a hot appetizer, is coming together in the same table. You gotta get them both out at the same time. And that's the way a successful restaurant runs. Sabrina, tell me when you're about one minute behind on your on that app. I'll get the bone marrow in then. Appetizers, Lynn and Sabrina are gonna be the front of the line, and I'm gonna make sure the stuff in the back is all taken care of. We have two, two crabs, two soup. How much time on the marrow, Michael? Bone marrow. Thank you. Lynn, you gotta slow it down because Sabrina is not keeping up with you on the tuna. You're gonna get too far ahead, and I'm gonna have soup sitting up here, and it's gonna get cold. Yes, chef. Same for you guys in the blue team, okay? The food has to come up pretty much together. We need a little bit of uh, wasabi oil to finish this. Yes. And then I think we're good to go. Two crab up. You season the tuna? Yes. yes, chef. Okay, did you taste it? I did not, chef. You gotta make sure, because you'd be surprised at how much salt it can handle. Red team, ordering three soup, two crab. Three soup, two crab. Yes. Start, just I'll start. start. I'm the only one here in reality who has any solid knowledge about what happens on the line. No, not the soup, because the crab has to be ready before the soup is. You want oil? Yeah. Lynn, you're not helping me, OK? This is a team effort. If I'm saying something, it's know, not because I'm not Lynn, trusting I, I you. Can't. Clean it up, please. Sabrina thinks she's boss. She thinks she knows it all. OK, can I get those soup up for these two crabs here, please? Let's get a few of these up. Coming up, Jeff. Cody, that soup, it, there's too much oil on top of it. I will not accept that. Our food items are not coming together properly. Focus, help him on the soup. Feeling a bit scared that we're going to fall behind in service? There's soup behind you, Cody. More soup behind you. Thank you. Come on, Cody. Don't keep me waiting here. Oh, here we are, chef. Service, let's go. So we got two crab and two soup. All right, your first check is out there, blue team. Keep it up. Soup up. All right, service, here we go. Table two, one soup, one crab. But just after the first orders go out, Claudio is alerted to a problem. French onion soup. I felt it was lukewarm. Let me make it up to you. I'll be right back. Okay. Michael, person who had the soup, thought it was cold. Which table? Table three. Blue team. We need it on the fly. I can't believe a soup comes back. Let's get a brand new soup 911 right now, okay? Gotta come out piping hot. Canoe doesn't do plates going back to the kitchen. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. You're killing me here.